In fact, we've got a Stephen walk on the wild side here. So wouldn't I say hello to, uh, to Stephen? How are we doing, Stephen? You want to say hello? <laughs> How are you doing, all right? And we've got three of them. We've even got a, uh, look at that. I know, all three stars. Look at that. So, you know, there's, a, there's fire and rescue. Like I said, there's, a, there's all sorts. Welcome back to a brand new video. So today it was really misty in the morning, but that sort of fog rolling in off the sea, and it's still quite hazy late on in the afternoon. And uh, just thought I'd just show you the, the North Pier. It's always like this is the, the favourite pier for me, and you can just see it's still a little, a little misty as the, uh, the fog possibly could roll in tonight. And it is going to be very foggy in the morning, but what a what a setting that is with the sun just uh, in the background from North Pier. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a, a gentle stroll just uh, near the Christmas market because it's less than one day now before the whole of this erupts into a, a magic wonderland for Christmas. So we're going to have a, a bit of a look and just see what you can expect because they've all got all sorts of uh, rides events and uh you know little huts what you can go to and it's certainly going to be an absolutely fantastic one so this is like the start of christmas when this opens up tomorrow in blackpool and i've already come across one christmas tree which was uh, put up in a in a street near me and you see you've uh, even got the other uh, christmas trees there look at that and this is certainly going to be an absolutely epic event. So we're going to have a quick look and just see what we can expect tomorrow. Like I said, it's a, if you're going to uh, come to this one, this is all opened up tomorrow. We've got the, uh, the polar bears, we've got all sorts of things. And it's like this. So they'll probably be doing the, uh, the final tests on the, on the rides. And I'd imagine all the... Uh, all the sh little shops and stalls will be completely stocked up with all those uh, wonderful, wonderful goodies. <laughs> so you can see uh, they're all in a festive spirit already. And that's the, uh, the Super Bob. And you see the uh, ice skating ring is now completely uh, up and running all ready for uh, tomorrow. So like I said, this one, the ice skating, is completely free. But how spectacular does all of this look? And you can see they've even got a little seating area where you can get changed if you want to uh, jump on the, uh, the ice skates and uh, go and have a bit of, uh, bit of fun on that one. So this is the uh, state of play at the comedy carpet late Thursday afternoon, just before the sun goes down. Let's go and have a, a quick look on the outside and just see uh, what is uh, what is going to be going on here tomorrow. Because let's have a, let's have a walk down to the, uh, the right first of all. And you can see the, uh, the hot chocolates, the beers, the mulled wine. It's not Christmas, uh, a glass of mulled wine. And you can even hear the, uh, the music in the background. So like I said, everyone's getting, uh, getting into the spirits and uh, wow, how, uh, how wonderful does that look? It's uh, truly amazing, certainly, uh, certainly coming to life. So yeah, we'll just uh, have a, a bit of a walk around, see the Helter Skelter there. And uh, yeah, we've got, uh, we've got all sorts. So like I said, they've got 24 hours, less than 24 hours before all this opens up to the public. See all the, all the little shops all be uh, heaving with people. Look at that, you can see all the, uh, the candy being put into that one. Let's just whip around to the, uh, the left hand side. 
because you can see all the uh, all the shops, little stalls. He's uh, he's all right. He's got his coffee. Keep him warm tonight. Keep him going throughout the night. And, uh, yeah. How spectacular! The cup and saucer ride. And let's have a look at this one. There we go. How wonderful does that one look? You see, they're just testing everything, make sure everything's uh, everything's right. So yeah, let me know if you're going to be uh, on that one tomorrow. Certainly, uh, certainly fantastic. Just to uh, approach the uh, the Sky Flyer, you can see that's all ready to uh, whip people in the air. And uh, as we just uh, pan the camera round slightly to the right, you can see all the uh, the wonderful little stalls running all the way along. Just a little uh, shot of the uh, the central pier, because that view, you know, with the uh, the sun coming down, just uh, beyond the pier is uh, is really amazing. So just uh, near central pier, and uh, this one has certainly been battered over the years which is the, uh, the little terraced uh, barn central pier. And uh, we've, uh, we've filmed this many a time, all the tables and chairs have uh, been, like I said, sort of thrown onto the promenade after uh, many a storm. But yeah, you know, it still stands, uh, still stands strong. And uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot of stalls like this. Uh, there's one over the, uh, the road opposite central pier. And a lot of these now are all like, uh, Close down and just open the weekends. We spoke to uh, Leah in Bubble Tea, and she's uh, just opening weekends like many of these stores because the season has now uh, come to a complete end. And you can see just over, you know, the uh, the donuts, the tower gifts, all of those will just be open, possibly late evenings or uh, just weekends. And uh, as we uh, whip over the uh, the other side. You can see uh, happy days. Again, all uh, all closed because uh, this season has uh, has come to the end. But I'd imagine you know they'll be uh, they'll be open the weekends, possibly late evenings. So I'd imagine they'll certainly be open tomorrow. But uh, yeah, many of these uh, shops along the promenade have uh, closed the doors for uh, for another season. So what I'm going to pop over into town, see what's uh, new and what's uh, going on in the, uh, the town area. But yeah, this opens at 5pm tomorrow and uh, there's actually four of the uh, BBC Strictly Come Dancing professionals who's going to be opening the uh, Christmas by the Sea in Blackpool. Uh, the open event which also features a cast of skaters and talented young stage school performers will be uh, opening this one up. So it's going to be uh, absolutely amazing event so make sure if you are in blackpool or you do want to visit it's open at five o'clock and like i said everything will be in the uh, description about this one so like i said it's going to be a, an absolutely fantastic event and you can see just near harry ramsden's all cordoned off with the uh, the lorries and imagine all that's something to do with the uh, the switch on as well so there are all sorts uh, of things behind the uh, behind the screens so all that is sort of cables running along and there's all sorts of goodies so that's probably where the uh, the nerve center of the uh, the christmas market um, actually is 
So, like I said, all these uh, all these vehicles and the uh, the nerve of the uh, the Christmas market. It sort of spans all the way from uh, the uh, Harry Ramsons all the way into the town, and there's uh, all sorts behind there. All the uh, all the operating things, which will be uh, making sure everything runs uh, perfectly, perfectly smooth. So what we're going to do, we're going to just head on into uh, so St John's Square, see if we can capture those Christmas tree lights on. Whether they're, they're on, because it's still uh, a little bright, who knows, but we're certainly going to have a look. And, uh, you know, in the next, next few weeks, the uh, town centre is going to be uh, sort of buzzing with, the, uh, with life, everyone grabbing that bargain, filling the, uh, those stockings up and the, uh, the socks up ready for Christmas. So yeah, we'll, we'll just head on, like I said, uh, a little town. There's a couple of police cars, not too sure what's going on up there. So we're certainly going to have a, a bit of a look. So hopefully the, uh, the tree lights might be on. Like said, it might be a, a little tad too early, but you never know. We'll certainly uh, go and have a look. So the, uh, the police cars and that police van is, uh, is to do with the, uh, the Chinese Buffy. Now, I'm not going to go into uh, what it's about. I'll pop it in the description if you want a bit of a, a light read. I'm sure you can uh, find a lot more information out. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll pop that in the description. Like I said, it's something to do with the, uh, the Chinese Buffy, but you know, I'm not going uh, to go into it. But uh, let's have a pan the camera around. You see, there's an awful lot of uh, police presence and police vehicles um, with this one. So we just arrived at St John's Square. You can see the, uh, the tree is now completely up and it's lit up. But you, you see the, uh, the benefit when it's, uh, when it's darker. But yeah, how lovely. And how fitting is that just next to the, uh, the church in, uh, in St John's Square. So I hope you're enjoying the, uh, the video so far. Like I said, just a bit of a look around um, Blackpool in preparation for this uh, magnificent event. Uh, what is uh, what is taking place tomorrow? But like I said, there's an awful lot of police presence um, in regards to the uh, that Chinese Buffy. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to go into the the story. I'm sure a lot of people have reported on that already. But, uh, I'll pop it in the description if you want a, a bit of a light read. But there's certainly a, a lot of police presence. And uh, look at that tower in the. Uh, it's like a, you can see like the the mist, like an orange mist just above it and surrounding the, uh, the tower, which uh, looks magnificent. But yeah, it's a... Uh... In fact, we've got a uh, Stephen walk on the wild side here. So we're gonna say hello to, uh, to Stephen. How are we doing, Stephen? You wanna say hello? <laughs> How you doing? All right. And we've got three of them. We've even got a. Uh, look at that. I know. All three stars. Look at that. We've got the real star here. Uh, this is Wendell. I actually did a video with Wendell earlier this year. And, um, well, it got a very good response, but there were quite a few people that thought that you were maybe a little bit negative in that video. He, he, he's, the, he's being a bit diplomatic here. <laughs> he's sitting on the fence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It took some convincing to get me to talk to him, but actually... I paid him off. You yeah, paid him off. Yeah, yeah. Now we're doing a positive side of what are the good things about Blackpool. Exactly. You haven't got to look... To balance it out. You haven't got to look far with the tree and everything. Look what fits that. in place. <laughs> so I'll pop you uh, all three of you in the description for your channels. <laughs> Here we go. Do you want to yeah, use us as a thumbnail? There you go. Perfect thumbnail. <laughs> so that was a, a nice, pleasant surprise meeting those three. Like I said, I'll pop their, their channels in the uh, description. But you see, like I said, there's an awful lot of police presence around Blackpool. So you know, there's, a, there's fire and rescue. Like I said, there's a, there's all sorts. Uh, but yeah, nevertheless, uh, we're going to pop back onto the promenade, see if anything else is uh, is going on. And uh, yeah, I said, let's keep going. So I hope you enjoyed that video today. A uh, bit of a, a bit of a walk around. Uh, so if you do, don't forget hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, helps the channel out. Uh, and like I said, any comments, I will try to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And until next time. Take care of yourselves and it is a bye from me. Bye bye.